Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris, and I'm back in ESO with some more jewels. Um, as you can see here, I'm fighting a Sork. This is a pretty long clip, because uh, these Sorks here, they have some insanely great survivability, and they're just really annoying to fight, really. Because they can use shields, and they can use uh, the self-heal uh, healing ward, which just... I mean, there's almost no way to counter it unless you have super high burst damage or like some kind of insanely good stun build. Um, but yeah, I decided to do some more of these. Uh, actually, after posting the the last dueling video, well, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it was it was like a, a week ago, I think, maybe two weeks ago. I joined this skill called Legend, and I actually quickly discovered that a lot of the people I dueled were actually part of this guild. Um, it is a multifactional uh, guild that is intended to be for people who want to duel. And um, and it's just a lot of fun. I mean, they're really nice people, all of them. Uh, some of them do cheat a little bit, I would say. I mean, some of them do use certain exploits or uh, certain things that aren't working as intended. We're actually gonna end this video on a fight where I'm fighting a guy I'm pretty sure has uh, has Nern Hone gear, which at the moment is really broken because it gives you too much spell resistance. Um, anyway, so yeah, I, jo I joined this guild and and most of these duels are from uh, from events they've set up. I mean, basically, it's just one person going, "Okay, we're dueling here uh, this campaign." between here and here, stuff like that. And it's pretty cool, because I think at the moment the the PvP scene and in ESO does need a huge revamp, because currently it's just 60 versus 20 in pretty much all campaigns, at least for the DC, it seems. It's very rare that I can join uh, a campaign and actually run with a ton of other DC players. It's usually DC getting stomped on by either AD or EP cert groups. Um, and that I don't like that. It just reminds me too um, too much um, of the uh, of the uh, PvP in, in Guild Wars 2. At least uh, keep versus keep versus keep, whatever it was called. Server versus server. Um, and that, that to me that just isn't fun getting completely stomped over by people who don't even need skill to to beat you because they're outnumbering you like three three to one or four to one. You can see here I ended up winning over that sword. Here's another fight versus a Templar, I do believe. Um, I have my volume turned pretty much all the way down because it's uh, me and a friend just talking uh, while I'm dueling here. Uh, friend is the one in the group so she's she's basically acting as my second uh, in case there aren't any uh, what do you call it any DC players who can, who can rest me up so she's there to act as my second in case I go down she'll rest me and you will see me go down quite a lot in this video especially versus this guy so this guy is also Templar he's using the reflective bubble which is so very annoying to uh, to use or to fight against, I should say, because um, basically it will well it will um, bounce all my single target abilities, but it will also for some reason bounce the uh, the talents, and if you reflect the talents, it will give you super speed, and you will see it I think in one of these clips. But you see this guy is just going at me with. Uh, Soul Assault, and he's going at me with Radiant Destruction. I'm pretty glad that Update 7 is coming out soon, because Radiant Destruction is so very overpowered right now. Uh, this is the same guy again, and so he beat me in the first fight. Um, but yeah, Radiant Destruction is just really overpowered. I mean, there are certain builds where you only use that one ability, and it's almost viable in fights. You can see that's the super speed I'm talking about. Um, and, and it's just very annoying, like it takes away from skillful play. But um, I, I, try to, I try to not show you videos where I get completely destroyed or where I completely destroy people. 
I do know that some of the first fights uh, I showed you guys were were duels where um, where where like I I really defeated someone really quickly, and I mean that that's not fun to watch in my opinion. It's like I don't know. There there needs to be this sort of cool back and forth fighting going on, because I can I mean I can like make you a highlight reel where it's just me uh, quickly killing people because my my build is very burst. Uh, and it also like it depends a lot on on having a fight that's less than two minutes because once it goes over a certain amount of time I'm just out of magic and stamina and there's almost nothing I can do unless I have a ultimate or a potion ready um, but so even this guy even even though he's beaten me in every single fight I've had uh, I still show the fights because they're entertaining to watch I think uh, this is another Templar there's quite a lot of Templars out here and this is what I was saying in the previous video, although it's kind of hard to believe, but these stamina uh, slash magic uh, Templars using shields and stuff, they are just very, very good. I mean, they're extremely hard to, to kill because they have that self-heal, they have the the sun shield, and, and this guy, for example, he would run uh, defensive posture, I think it is. Uh, it's the shield ability that returns... Um, single target attacks and stuns you and it's just like sometimes it would just get me off guard you can see here I swapped out my talents for petrify um, or actually fossilize the more if I'm using so he almost dies right there um, but yeah I, I use petrify in this fight because it's just really annoying uh, it's not very good I don't think it's just very annoying uh, there are a few builds where petrify or fossilize is actually really good and that's uh, stamina builds because you can lock someone down and just keep doing it until they're out of stamina. Hit them with a fossilize and then use like a, an uppercut on them. And that will hit through the fossilize and keep doing more damage. So like it, it won't stop the damage by the fossilize. It will actually keep going. I've had a guy kill me with a 10k hit because of that. See that guy kills me right there. Strange thing is, uh, I think this guy may or may not have had a grudge against me because um, a month or two ago, a friend of mine were out in in one of the campaigns and we were ganking people, and this is one of the people we would gank multiple times. Um, so he was, a, I mean, safe to say, he was a little bit annoyed at us, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, but he 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 was nice, he or she, I have no idea. Uh, he was nice to talk to though. I mean, and. That's what I'm. I'm really surprised about, cause when when you fight out in in the campaigns, like all these people, all these names, you're like, oh, this is Cipher, or oh, Cipher is is good, or oh, he's one of the evil guys, cause you know I'm not on his side or whatever. But then like you you fight against him, like Serona here for example, you fight against them and you're like, oh, they're actually really fun to fight and they're they're cool people. They're not huge tea bags that tea bag you after uh, killing you. So, I mean, and that's what I really like about these duels. They're, it's like a gentleman's club, almost. Gentle men and women, I should say. Uh, I do have about, I think, two or three hours worth of, of duels. Uh, this is only nine minutes, I think, nine and a half, according to the timeline here. And, um, and this is just like a short preview of it. I'm, I'm probably going to do more of these because I think they're entertaining to, to narrate, to commentate. Um, so yeah, see this guy's gonna defeat me here, right there. Okay, the last fight is against a guy with Nurnhorn. This is just a quick lesson, saying that even though I'm a Magicka build, I can still stomp you if you're running Nurnhorn. But you can see he has 18k health and he's barely taken any damage. Blocking and reducing most of my attacks to less than 500 damage. Since I'm a dot build, it doesn't really matter because it's still taking away really, really hard. And he'll go down in three, two, one, and good night. Thanks for watching.